Hello, bloggers. Um, it's uh, John Loves Maddie here, and I'm coming to you yet again from my classroom. Uh, I'm going to show you around again because things have changed significantly since uh, my Virginia Woolf experimental moment uh, many months ago. Um, I come to you today, though, with a video that should be titled, But Am I a Bitch? And the reason I'm going to do my video about, But Am I a Bitch? Uh, is because on Monday and Tuesday of next week, they're going to be filming a television show in my classroom that I believe is for the Showtime cable network, and I believe the name of the show is The United States of Terra. Now, I could be mistaken, but that is what was on the business card that was given to me. And uh, whatever it is, it's some ridiculous something that's being produced by DreamWorks and is involving a school play. So, of course, we've just finished Bye Bye Birdie here, you know. And when the people from DreamWorks came, the location scouts, it was like an army of people who walked in. It was the opening night of the show was the day they came. And they're rifling through my stuff um, completely in the way, and I had many things to get done, obviously, since the show was opening that night, and I was not pleased. Uh... And here they're talking about all of these things they're going to do, and I'm just thinking, this is the most inappropriate time for you to be here. But I was wrong, because uh, later that week, they came again, I think it was on Thursday of last week. Today's Friday, it's, uh, what's today? Uh, April 11th. So they came, I think, on Thursday of last week. We had a show again that night. And then I had all of the costume racks and stuff in here, because this is the dressing room. And they walked in in the middle of my English class, to, well, first they were measuring the room, then there was a woman who I guess is like the set designer or something, is taking pictures while my students are in the middle of class. So I was appalled and asked them to leave. Well, so they're coming uh, on Monday to, uh, I guess, set up, and then on uh, Tuesday they're going to be filming. And apparently when I was in here in class and I sent them out, they went back into the auditorium, which is right next door, and they were pointing to, uh, from what the students told me, the different set pieces and this that I had for the play, and talking about how they were going to use all of those things. But no, no, no. Because although the school is probably getting paid some significant amount of money for the fact that they're going to shoot here, I'm not getting paid anything extra for this. So there is no way in the world that I was leaving my sets that I had worked tirelessly without pay uh, on for them to use as set pieces in their show when I'm neither getting credit nor getting paid. So all of the sets are completely gone out of the auditorium, as they should be. Um, and the only concession I was willing to make was to uh, finish getting my room organized after the play was over. And so I just want to show you what that means. So here, first I have new di tables in a variety of colors, which is very exciting. Um, up above the door, I hung some posters that the kids made last year from uh, Zoot Suit by Luis Valdez and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof and uh, Chicago, things that we looked at scenes or songs or watched parts of the movies. Um, the infamous now Evita poster that we made as a sort of sabotage moment for one of the other teachers. Uh, one of the students made it anyway, and we hung it on her door. Now it's hanging in my room. Our strawberries from Bye Bye Birdie. Lou, poor Lou, the dog who died in Bye Bye Birdie. Then we have uh, some Shakespeare. Uh, here, uh, more posters the kids made, A League of Their Own yet again, but also this wonderful Bye Bye Birdie movie poster that the kids got for me that they all signed the back of it. That was their gift to me, that. And then also this uh, award here, which we'll zoom in and close. Oh, it won't get it. There it is. Mr. Jones, Bye Bye Birdie, 2008. Gotta love it. Uh, then we venture yonder over. I've got the tree that I made for the set and my Holocaust posters the kids made last year. Our couch. Do not even think about sitting here. Little Shop of Horrors still remains. And this fabulous piece that we made for the top of the courthouse in Bye Bye Birdie. And what I did was this sun... Uh, he, every time he came on stage, was wearing a different costume. And so he was dressed as an Indian and a patriot boy and the Grim Reaper and Elvis and a leprechaun and a little army boy. And 
uh, Uncle Sam there and the apples for Sweet Apple, Ohio. So anyway, we have our Madonna and Xanadu in the color purple on the board as well. Which this needs to be fixed. One of the students hung his picture. Anyway, so that's the state of things in the classroom. And I really am just appalled by the fact that these people are coming here uh, in the middle of the school day and that the school thinks that this is uh, acceptable because I don't think it's acceptable at all. And today the uh, set designer called to say how her child goes to our school and, and how she's hoping that they'll be able to use some of our things and blah, blah. No, they've paid to rent the space. And so if I really had my way, I would have moved all of my things out of the room, but that's not really possible. So this is what they get. So if you watch the show, The United States of Terra, and you see this episode about the school play, um, I don't know. Let's see what they do. Bye-bye.